Hey everybody, Jimbo Klimbo here. Uh, in this video, we're going to be picking the winner for the giveaway we had a few weeks ago uh, that was announced on KFC Wins channel when I was live with him. Shout out to KFC, thank you again. And then we're going to uh, go into a new uh, indie TCG called Alpha Clash. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we did only have two entries, um, Frankly Collecting and Esteban C. I don't know if he wants me to use his last name or not, um, but uh, thank you guys for participating. Good luck to both of you. Uh, I did uh, add your names um, twice on the wheel here. I've never used this wheel before, um, but I thought it looked a little bit better instead of just having a half and a half. Um, so... All right, best of luck to you. Here we go. And it looks like it's going to be Frankly Collecting. So congratulations, Frank. Um, get in contact with me uh, through Instagram. Uh, you can uh, email me. I'll leave my email in the description down below. Um, so we can get these cards out to you. So Congratulations, and thank you again for participating. Thank you for supporting KFC wins uh, And now let's get into the video about uh, Alpha Clash All right, so as you can see we already have one of the demo decks um, Set up here. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be a part of the uh, ambassador program and essentially what that means is um, I requested uh, I sent in basically a request to Alpha Clash. They accepted the request and they sent me some demo decks to take to some local LGSs and stores um, to get them kind of interested in the game to kind of spread the awareness for it. Um, I really enjoy, uh, after playing a little bit, I really enjoy this game. It's a lot of fun. And I wanted to kind of show off the two demo decks that uh, were sent. So um, without further ado, uh, we are going to show off the very first one. Um, this is the contender uh, for the deck, um, sort of like a um, commander in magic or a, um, a hero in flesh and blood. So this is going to be Magnate, and you, can know, you know he's a contender because of this up here. Uh, his health is 30, and down here it denotes he's a alpha classification. This is the rarity symbol. This is going to be the attack and defense. This is going to be the flavor text and then uh, a little bit more down here about the artists and um, a few other things but um, I did want to point out um, this card. It's, the art on it is amazing. Uh, if you're into superheroes you gotta check these guys out. They had a very successful Kickstarter um, and the back of the card here looks very professional, extremely well made. The card stock even for the demos are very good and uh, let's just kind of go through this deck here so everything revolves around magnate or the commander um, much like magic but in this game it's called a contender <clears throat> and so there's uh, trap cards there are accessory cards you can uh, put um, Clash grounds or kind of like a landscape or a place for uh, for the cards where they're going to be fighting similar to uh, MetaZoo where they have uh, kind of like the location where you're fighting uh, like a forest or um, at night uh, things like that under stars uh, but Alpha Clash is just going to be uh, like a city or a place so Magnate Cunning Planner, uh, Magnate's Gamma Spear, Sonoro, Destructive Arrival, uh, Menacing Magnate. So this is going to be, um, and just like uh, Sonoro was, this is kind of like a basic character card that you may play. So the cost is going to be one resource of green. Um, down here is going to be again attack and defense. You can also play these cards as a resource card similar to flesh and blood 
or cryptic TCG. Uh, you would just play it on the mat, uh, turned upside down, and you would tap it or uh, fatigue it um, or engage it, um, as they call it in Alpha Clash, they call it engaging. Um, you would uh, engage it for one resource. So no matter what this number is, it's still just going to generate one of that color. So continuing on, Destructive Arrival. This is going to be an action card similar to like an instance in Magic. The Arriving Guy. So this is going to be New York City, like I was saying earlier, uh, this is a clash ground or an area that you're going to be fighting or the, the uh, clash is going to be taking place. This gives a um, little flavor text down here. It says, uh, clash cards get a plus two attack, plus zero defense, and flight. Uh, trigger when it enters, each player draws one card. So this can benefit both players, um, but there can only be one uh, on the board at a time <laughs> so that kind of uh, is a strategy that you may use during the gameplay to kind of knock this out and put your own which may give your opponent or um, or yourself uh, a little bit of an advantage uh, like the plus two plus zero so magnate again a lot of magnet cards power overflowing the art is amazing very uh very marvel like uh, and i do believe there are some marvel um artists on the actual team that is making this game even though it has no affiliation it's going to be its own ip really really cool i cannot wait to get my kickstarter stuff Just look looking forward to making some videos on that for everybody magnate's trap magnate's plan the Avenging Guy, Sonoro again, except he's going to have a little bit different flavor, a little bit things here. Um, this is uh, a few strategy cards in there. Okay, so kind of goes through some of these. We're already kind of getting through some reprints. Like I said, this is a demo deck. Uh, it's a 31 card deck, including the Contender. Um, and I am so thankful that Alpha Clash uh, sent me these and I can be a part of the ambassador program making history for the card game. So, all right, so throw Magnate back on top, put those aside and we'll go into the next one. Now this is the Moxie deck, so or the, or the black deck. Um, so Moxie is another character. Uh, within the uh, universe of Alpha Clash TCG. Um, and you, she's kind of like a, uh, a good guy, kind of. Uh, you could look at her like that. And then Magnate is kind of like the villain of the, of the uh, storyline or the lore. So you can, and down here, instead of her being a Alpha, a different class, she is a Alpha Hunter, which it's a uh, looks like a... Uh, like an armor helmet and a spear or a sword going through the through it. So this is going to be one of the clash grounds, Denver. Um, Alpha Hunters clash cards get a plus one, plus zero. Trigger when it enters, you may draw two cards and then discard one card. Um, so it's a shared. So Moxie's light power armor. So this is a accessory card, or in a and it's a weapon classification accessory card. So what that means is when you play this, you can play it um, in the accessory zone. This is the fighting zone, and this is the, if you can see it on the map here, down here is going to be the resource zone where you play your, your energy um, or your mana. Um, so this can be played in the accessory area, and you can attach those to the cards. Um, and it can buff them up and uh, make them a lot more powerful. So it's got a lot of really fun elements to it. Uh, United Nation, Nations Headquarters. Uh, this is another Clash Grounds. This deck has two Clash Grounds. The Magnate deck only had one. Sharp, Sharpshooter Moxie. Very cool card. Web, Weber's 
binoculars. Very cool. Oh, this one was upside down here. Sergeant Weber. Incoming support. Very cool. Sharpshooter Moxie again. Captain Magazine Riggins. So in the lore or the um, there's a whole comic book um, over this IP. I did another video on it. Go check it out. Um, <clears throat> but uh, within the comic book and the story, the whole lore, uh, Moxie is her call sign when she gets in her power armor to fight the alphas. Um, and so she becomes call sign Moxie. And so before she does that, she is in the military and she's a captain and her name is Maxine Riggins. So that's a, a lot of, a lot of cool story. I would suggest go check out their comic and go check out my other video before you uh, purchase it. So you can kind of get filled in on what it's like. Sergeant Weber, again, uh, in the story, Sergeant Weber is kind of her sidekick of sorts. Uh, Moxie Alpha Hunter Specialist. Look at the art. This is probably my favorite card of the demo deck. Um, Moxie Primed to Clash. There are so much, there's so much detail and a lot of just amazing art goes into this. Super, super good. Incoming support. Weber's Binoculars. Colonel Edwards. Again, he's in the comic book. Um, I mean, the detail in the art is amazing. Um, being in the military myself, I mean, I can appreciate how this, um, you know, looks and how it must be very difficult to uh, draw something like this. Light power armor. Uh, again, it's a weapon. Accessory. Two of those. Mark C. Preparing for battle. Um, trigger when she enters you may draw one card so there's a lot of fun little little triggers and things you can set traps as well um, so if someone plays a card you can as long as you have the the mana or the energy for it you can flip it over and boom you got a trap I really like I really like that um, that mechanic in the game it's a lot of fun sharpshooter moxie Weber, Weapons Expert, Prime to Clash, awesome card. Preparing for battle. All right, looks like these last few are upside down. And then Colonel Edwards. All right, so that's gonna be the two decks. Uh, if you have any questions about Alpha Clash, please leave a comment down below. If you've heard of Alpha Clash before, um, let me know down in the comments what you think about the uh, about the the gameplay and the mechanics of the of the game. Um, they're going to be coming out with uh, some of these, like I said, in local game stores. So look out for that. I personally am going to be trying to go to some in the uh, Fort Worth area, uh, in the Dallas area, to try to spread the word. Um, let me know if um, if you guys are in those areas um, and you have any suggestions for LGSs. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, again, uh, please like and subscribe as always, and uh, appreciate you watching. Peace, guys.